celebrate the 40th anniversary of opening the, the most um, peaceful place around the San Francisco Bay National Wildlife Refuge. And, and a group of people who are old now who founded the thing 40 years ago. And I'm sorry I couldn't be here earlier. You are in the right time. I don't have to do anything but say hello, congratulate you, uh, and look forward to my retirement in December. Uh, at 77 years old, I'll be calling on you. We will, we will help you. We, we all will help you. 77. So, he's 77. 77. We will help. We will help. That's I like old. being 76 because I could say, they say, hold it right now, 76, that's the spirit. Yes. So, uh, you guys have given a significant amount of your time and your energy and your intelligence and and your dedication to help people in need. And I think that's commendable in all kinds of ways. Uh, and you know, I went through when my mother uh, got sick, and I talked about this a lot at the peer counseling groups, but you know, she was very low income, and she got sick, and they found out how sick she was, and she got lots of, of help. She got visiting nurses, free meals on wheels, uh, home health care aid, and then my father died. They'd been divorced for 40 some, 50 years. But when he died, her pension went up because she got his pension. And now she made too much money to get those free services, and she couldn't afford to pay for them. And because, I mean, $1,300 a month does pay for a lot. Uh, and then when she got pneumonia again, she decided it wasn't worth the fight. And she just pulled out the IVs and just waited for pneumonia to take her. Uh, and that's, you know, in looking backwards, that's, she did for her what she thought was the right thing, and it probably was. But if there, was, if there are people around to help who know how to work through that process, it might have made a difference. And so that's the kind of things you people can do, help people work through the process, you know, we only go through it once. You know, we only we, we lose a spouse once, we lose a parent once, maybe twice. Uh, but you know, you don't learn how to do it. It's all the first time. So having people who can help people walk through the system, walk through the process, uh, help walk through all of the, the blue rib, the red tape, uh, just makes it so much easier. Uh, and I've decided too that America's missing profession is somebody who can write Medicare books that average people can understand. So, <laughs> that, uh, 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 so congratulations on putting all this work in. Congratulations uh, for, for being qualified and earning your diplomas. And thank you. Thank you. you. Um, I had asked a few of you, um, especially some of the new ambassadors, to say a few words. Um, so we'll start with Mr. Thunder Malik. My name is Raj. I shouted it up because Raj is Shekhar and Chandra Mori is a long name. <laughs> uh, good afternoon to everybody here. And I'm uh, actually southern part of India. And I have come here and settled down here. And uh, I am from the Union City, 
And I'm so grateful to all these council members and other people here, wherever it be, to include Union City and New York also along with the Fremont. Fremont is a bigger city. I'm grateful for that first. Secondly, we, we have a big bunch of uh, the folders which they gave, a lot of papers we had to go through theory. And theory is uh, different from practical. We like to use it when on the field and see how much we can help others. And service to humanity is service to God. That's I believe. Even when I got my degrees, academic qualifications, I was not uh, so happy. I was happy, of course. That was selfish for my own pro progress and pro uh, business. And here, when I get this uh, community ambassador uh, function graduation, I'm so happy I'm here to help others. That's more important. And once again, I always remember service to humanity, service to God. That's the one thing which I'm... My Asha Chatra, my ma our manager, told me only one minute. I just crossed one minute and 30 seconds, I think. Thank you. <laughs> Somebody? Marina. 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 Now I, now I have acquired uh, more confidence after all these training days. See, I even abuse it. <laughs> I am so proud and blessed to be a part of this organization. It has widened my horizons in helping and finding resources to serve the seniors in my community and far and beyond. I acquired even more friends which needs help in one way or another. This training had enhanced my knowledge in processing and just more helping the seniors. So, to all the graduates, this is not the end of it. But it's just the beginning of a wonderful, delicate, and sensitive journey towards accomplishing our missions to our seniors and disabled. Let us carry on all the knowledge and what we have learned and all that we have accomplished. May it be all for all of us and for all the seniors that we have served already. I thank you, all this organization, whoever is concerned, and Asha knows that, that uh, if not for this, we would not be able to serve the seniors in our community. I thank you and God bless to everyone. Please, Thank you. Michael. Thank you uh, for giving me a confidence to come up here. Uh, you guys gonna have a test because my last one is very long. Yeah. You guys ready for this? Uh, 13. Okay, where we at? Disaster. I can get that. <laughs> I grew up in Indonesia. Uh, Chinese descendant, but I came here about 30 years ago, and uh, this past uh, few weeks, I learned so much about the, uh, all of you guys here in Fremont, and in why I believe in serving. Um, I'm also a member of Mission San Jose Rory, so I understand what serving is all about, and then most of all, having a friendship with you guys <coughs> is, is the best, because not only I learn about how we connect with our own community because I've been helping other community, but this free month that I think all of us will be able to serve and help one another. It, you know, it, it doesn't matter what type of ethnics or religious background. I think uh, I came up from a different uh, background growing up in Indonesia, so I know what it is. I think we can be stronger and then congratulate to all of us. Thank you. Angelica. 
we're both going to say something. Yeah. <laughs> 30 seconds. Oh, 30 seconds. Okay. <laughs> 30 minutes. Hello, um, my name is Angelica Rodriguez again, and this is Maria. Hi, uh, nice to meet you, everyone, and thank you for giving me the opportunity to take that this training, and thank you. Um, I just want to add something. I think um, we're obviously very blessed to be here and to learn from everyone. And I don't know if this was one of the goals of the programs, but to build community. And I think that's something that we've done here. Um, and community is so important. I think financial resources come and go, but we have each other, right? So we're here for each other and to help um, one another. So community is very important for me. And that's something I learned here, so thank you. Follow. Taiwanese Community Health Association. Hello everyone, my name is Florence and uh, this is a, a wonderful experience and um, actually I'm from Fremont Healthy Start but uh, in this uh, training, I found and I connect with the Taiwanese Community um, uh, Health uh, Association because I'm also coming from Taiwan. <coughs> um, so um, I am uh, just very happy to know all of you and I hope that uh, in the future that we can all work together and serve the community. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody from the Indian? Mr. Krishna. Thank you, Shanji. America has given us a great a lot of things, especially in values. So it's a payback time for us. The best way to pay back is community service as a community ambassador ambassador here. So thanks for the city of Fremont for giving us the opportunity and Ashaji, Susan, Karen, every officials here have, have, for having made it a great success. Thank you very much. Yeah. 